Assalamualaikum Hello My name is Muhammad Izzat bin Shahrum My matric number is CI150135 Today I would like to present about case study Case study, this is question number 8 The question is A dietitian at KBJ Hospital want a patient to have a meal that has 78 grams, grams of protein 59 grams of carbohydrates and 75 milligrams of vitamin A. The hospital food service tells the dietitian that the dinner for today is salmon steak, baked eggs and acorn squash. Each serving of salmon steak has 30 grams of protein, 20 grams of carbohydrates and 2 milligrams of vitamin A. Each serving of baked eggs contain 15 grams of protein, 2 grams of carbohydrates and 20 mg of vitamin A. Each serving of acorn squash has 3 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbohydrates and 32 mg of vitamin A. So, how many servings of each food should be the dietitian provide for the patient? Hello and very good afternoon to our lecturer. My name is Noah Fidman Karim. Matric number CI150088 and I will be present about mathematical modeling. Hello, based on the data on case study, we can conclude is as list listed as below. We got three questions here. The first question is 30x plus with 15y plus with 3z equals to 78 okay and the second equation is 20x plus with 2y plus with 25z equals to 59 and the last equation we got 0.002x plus with 0.02y plus with 0.032z equals to 0.075 okay I will tell you 30, 30x is equivalent to the amount of protein in gram in salmon steak 15 is amount of protein in bacon eggs that is 15 grams and lastly 3z is equal to 3 gram of protein in acorn squash that's yeah, so all equals to 78. Same goes to the second equation and the third equation. For the third equation, we have convert all the milligram amount into gram amount so that we get 0.002x number. Okay, that's all for me. For mathematical, mathematical modeling, that's all. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum to my lecture. Okay, my name is Wan Muhammad Aizat bin Wan Mazuki. My metric number is CI150061. Okay, I will present to you about REF and RREF. Okay, firstly, uh, this is Wu Echelon form. So, the Wu Echelon form is a uh, metric is in Wu Echelon form. REF when it satisfy the following condition. Second, the first non-zero element in each row called the leading entry is 1. Third, each leading entry is in a column to the right of the leading entry in the previous row. Four, rows with all zero element, if any, are below rows having a non-zero element. For the reduced row echelon form, a metric is in reduced row echelon form RREF when it satisfies the following condition. The metric satisfies condition for a row echelon form. Third, the leading entry in each row is the non zero entry in its column okay this is example for the ref so if you can see here 
in this metric you can see this number 1 1 1 and at the bottom of this metric is 0 0 0 and at the top of this metric is any kind of integer number so if you can see here 2 3 4 3 for the second example if you can see here is 1 1 1 at the bottom of this metric 0 0 0 0 for the RREF reduce row echelon form so if you can see here at the top and the bottom of this metric if you can see here all the index here is 0 and 0 Assalamualaikum my name is Muhammad Zairi bin Muhammad Abu Nasir my metric card is 150107 Today I will tell about our coding and make a demo. Okay, now I will show about our demo. Firstly, you need to run the program. Enter the size of metric. The size is 3. And then you need to enter element of metric. The first row is 30 and then 15, 3 and 70. The second row is 20, second is 2 and 25 and 59. The third row is 0 0.002 and then 0 0.02 and the third is 0 0.032 and the last is 0 0.075 and the answer is for the solution is x is 1.5 and x2 is 2.0 and x3 is 1.0 thank you assalamualaikum my name is Muhammad Ashraf bin Muhammad Anwar. my metric number is ci 150095 i will present about the solution from the equation given Okay, this is the solution uh, for the equation. We use gauss jordan elimination to solve the problem. First of all, we change the equation into matrices. Okay, the first step is from the row one we divide into uh, by thirty. We will get the answer is this. Okay, the second step is. From row 1 again, time by 20, and we will get the answer for the, uh, the above one. The second, uh, the third one, uh, from row 1, we divide it uh, again by 20, and the row 2, uh, uh, by, uh, we minus by R1, uh, row 1. We will get the answer for the both row for the uh, in the next step. Okay, next we uh, from row one time by zero point zero zero two, and we uh, reproduce the answer like this. Okay, next from row one, uh, row one we divided by zero point zero two. And from row three, we divided. I uh, will sorry, will minus from row one. Okay, uh, the answer for row one we get this. 
and the answer for row 3 we get this next step from row 2 we we'll divide by negative negative 8 uh, row 2 we produce 0 1 negative 2.875 and the last negative 0 0.875 next step is from row 2 we we'll time 0 0.5 and we we'll produce like this okay the next step from row 1 from row 1 will minus uh, row 2 and the row 2 will divide by 0 0.5 for x okay after that uh, the answer for row 1 we get this and the row 2 will produce this okay the next step for R, uh, row 2 uh, row 2 will time by 0 0.019 and uh, and we get the answer for the row 2 and the next step is from row 2 we'll divide by 0 .0, 0 0.019 and row 3 will minus for uh, row 2 and get the answer okay from row 3 uh, row 3 will divide 0 0.08 6425 to get yes to produce this the next step is from row 2 time row 3 time 1.5375 and get this okay for the next step from row 1 row 1 will minus row 3 and row 3 will divide 1.5375 and the answer, the, they will produce this and this okay the next step is row 3 will time negative 2.875 and we produce like this the last step is from row 2 row 2 will minus row 3 and row 3 will divide by negative 2.875 and the last answer is we produce like this hello assalamualaikum okay my name is so my matching number is ci10045 and i will present a flow chart using the student method thank you i will going to present about flow chart using the student uh, method uh, but firstly, uh, I will explain to you about the Gauss uh, Jordan method which is in the first chart. The Jordan method is uh, commonly used to find the solution for linear simultaneous equation in science and in engineering. It is used to find the output of a chemical plant and to meet a network under sinusoidal state. Here is a simple for the Gauss Jordan method along with the flowchart which we show how a system a linear cashier reduced to a diagonal metric form of elementary row operation. The solution is directly conveniently obtained by the method but requires a little more equation. Firstly, as the method I will get start. Firstly, we will need to start to uh, read the order for the metric and and read the coefficient for the linear cashier. So, uh, set a k equal to 1 and to n and do for i is to k plus 1 and to n plus 1 and we set a uh, is array a a and a minus a that equal to a k i and for i set a k equal to 1 and for i equal to uh, i 1 to n if i not equal to k then do for j equal to k plus 1 to n plus 1 this mean a array i and j uh, equal to aij minus akj times aik so n for j and for i and n for k so for each equation for the next question for me for this five I'm going to stop okay next first day this is a uh, algo rhythm uh, then first chart First, uh, we are going to start and indicate i to 0 and j equal to 0 too. 
and whether uh, whether the user and input we declare as a a i j if i are uh, more or less than j it will be going to end for the k if not it will go to operation whether t equal to i and need to divide by a j i okay next for i to n minus 1 and j equal to 2 to n and we will print out a that user input and for the question that they have enter and for n for j and n for i for i equal to 0 and to n to 0 we will print 1 equal to 1 plus minus i i and i j and for i then we to stop so that's for me thank you